It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be identifying statistical questions. So we'll be presented with questions, and we'll determine whether it is a statistical question. Here we're going to begin by reviewing what is a statistical question. A statistical question is a question you ask that has more than one possible answer. So there's variability to it, meaning if you ask a population of people, a group of people, a question, there's going to be more than one possible outcome. Now, what is it not? A question that has only one possible answer is not a statistical question. So more than one possible answer to a question makes it statistical. Here is our practice problem. We have a group of middle school students that went to an aquarium for a class trip. Afterward, the principal asked them several questions about their trip to the aquarium. Which of the following questions that the principal asked are statistical questions? We're asked to select the two statistical questions from this group of five questions. Here's where I would like you to pause the video, pick your two best answers, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we're discussing which of these five questions are statistical questions. Remembering that a statistical question has more than one possible answer. So answer choice A. Did the aquarium have a gift shop? Well, that's a yes or no question. So even though there's two possible outcomes, yes or no, it is fact, meaning there's only one possible answer. Every student that you ask can only answer yes or no, and they should all answer the same thing because they all went to the same aquarium. So it either did or did not have an aquarium, that, that gift shop at the aquarium. So we're going to rule that out. That is a fact question, not a statistical question. B. Did the aquarium have an elevator? Again, Yes or no, it did or did not. The answers will not vary. It's only one possible answer. They all went to the same aquarium, so we'll eliminate B. C, is the aquarium open on Tuesdays? Again, yes or no question. There's no other answer. It either was or it wasn't. So again, that's a fact, not an opinion, not a variable answer. So that leaves us, we're picking two statistical questions. We have two possible choices left, but I stand firm. These three are fact. So D, would you like to visit this aquarium again? Now this is an opinion. Would you like to visit the aquarium again? So even though it's a yes or no, it's still more than one answer is valid. So depending on who you are and whether or not you enjoyed visiting the aquarium, you may want to return. So it's not fact, it's opinion. So we're going to choose D as one of our statistical questions because we'll have varied answers. E, what was your favorite exhibit at the aquarium? Again, opinion, more than one possible answer. Anybody could pick, they could all pick the same but they could all pick a different exhibit at the aquarium. So again, opinion, more than one possible answer. And we're going to say that our answer choices here are D and E because these are opinion and a variety of answers are possible. Whereas A, B, and C are fact and it either did or did not have a gift shop, an elevator, or was open on Tuesday. And there you have it. That is how we identify a statistical question. And I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.